Welcome to Show Jumping Life. I'm David Portner, and I'm here with Shanette Cohen, Executive Director of the Hampton Classic. Hi, Shanette. Hi, David. So the Hampton Classic has become one of the most recognized and uh, respected horse shows in all of the world. What do you think it has contributed to its success? Well, I think there are multiple things. We put a real focus on the welfare of the horse and making sure that the infrastructure of the show is top quality. And then one of the really nice things about the Hampton Classic is we draw a crowd that's not necessarily just horse people. A lot of mm. folks in the community look forward to coming here every year. So um, we, we've actually converted people into being equestrian and show jumping fans who maybe have never even seen a horse in person before. Great. So what are the, some of the aspects that make it unique? We have um, tons of shops. We have more than 80 shops and an international food vendors. We have competition, our lead liners. We have more than, well, we have a hundred that we let in. Um, we had a waiting list this year that we were taking people off the waiting <laughs> list as we had lead liners scratch. So those are riders ages two to seven um, and all the way up to Olympic level competitors, you know, Olympic medalists who compete in our Grand Prix and um, the other FEI competitions. And it, it, we also have a big local day. Our opening day has local competitions that is, it's really brimming with competitors Editors. It's really one of our most exciting days here at the Hampton Classic. Tell me about the charitable side of the event. Sure, absolutely. The Hampton Classic is a 501c3 nonprofit organization in its own right, um, putting on a, a primarily amateur sporting event. Obviously, we have some professional competitors as well. And we partner with many other nonprofit organizations. So our official community partner is Stony Brook Southampton Hospital. It recently became Stony Brook Southampton Hospital, the Southampton Hospital before the recent merger. And then we we also partner and we give a cash contribution to the hospital. Um, and then we partner with more, well over 100, probably I think this year was about 120 different uh, charities, um, some with uh, different things here. So we have Adoption Day where we have dogs, cats, and horses available for adoption and we partner with different rescues. And then the Sag Harbor Food Pantry where people bring non-perishable item, items to get in for free. And then really hundreds of um, organizations to give VIP passes or posters and general admission passes for raffles and silent auctions throughout the year. Wow, that's terrific. So do you have any special plans for the future? So we're always looking to improve. Um, it's something that the prior executive directors established, and it makes sense for any event to sort of regroup afterwards and figure out what went well, where can we improve. So we're always focusing on making the footing the best it possibly can be, increasing prize money, other enhancements to um, our stabling areas or to the activities that are going on here. So um, really, that's always our focus to be better and better. So we hope that we can accurately say at the end of each Hampton Classic that it was our best Hampton Classic yet. Great. Well, thank you very much for taking the time and thank you very much for letting Show Jumping Life be a part of it. Thanks, David. All right.